Greetings. This is an important earthquake forecast video covering the New Zealand region for the period of June 21st through June 23rd 2017 where the forecast suggests a potential 6.2 magnitude earthquake for the New Zealand mainland and this is due to the important planetary alignment of Earth, Mercury and Sun and also the supermoon taking place during this time frame. June 23rd is an important date as it marks a supermoon where the moon will reach its third nearest approach for the Earth for the entire year. Now this supermoon date is significant as it is coinciding with the Earth-Mercury-Sun planetary alignment which does have a strong history with earthquakes across the New Zealand mainland. This was also the case in November 2016 where a significant magnitude 7.9 earthquake struck the New Zealand mainland just two weeks prior to the Earth-Mercury-Sun planetary alignment. It is worth noting that in May and June the Moon will be very close, approximately 357,000 kilometres to the Earth, but it was even closer in 2016. On Supermoon date it reached 356,000 kilometres to the Earth, its closest approach since 1948. We're now going to compare the exact Moon position at the time of the Supermoon of November 2016 and the Supermoon in June 2017 and we see an interesting reverse symmetry where the Sun's shadow on the Earth is exact opposite. This may be an indication or a foreshadow for a strong earthquake across the New Zealand mainland or perhaps a very strong aftershock for the New Zealand region. We're now looking at the important overhead position of the Moon at the time of lunar declination and also lunar perigee which take place within a day of each other June 23rd and June 24th and we have a hypersymmetry over the same region on the Earth covering Africa and also into Europe. Now this is important as this is the antipodes for the New Zealand mainland. Since 2010 there have been 14 registered earthquakes over 6 magnitude for the New Zealand mainland making it the most active places on the Earth. Now the most recent earthquake 7.9 that struck in November 2016 was quite unique whereas the aftershocks have not occurred in the same area of the epicenter. In fact the majority of the aftershocks have occurred migrating through the Pacific Plate into the Australian Plate of New Zealand which is quite rare as mentioned. This may indicate a potential major aftershock for the New Zealand mainland for the Kaikoura and also the Cheviot regions or perhaps a migration through into the already affected zones which may be a significant earthquake through the Hope Fault, Marlborough Fault systems or perhaps even into the Cook Strait. Now we the important astronomical events taking place for the month. Now this month is quite significant. Not only do we have the important time period as mentioned June 21st through June 23rd for the New Zealand mainland due to the supermoon and also the planetary alignment of Earth, Mercury, Sun, but we also have the major planetary alignment of Earth, Saturn and Sun taking place at mid-month on June 15. Now I'm expecting a very significant earthquake to be occurring at mid-month and perhaps for the South Pacific Ocean or just south of New Zealand. So we may see several earthquakes around the New Zealand mainland for the month of June. We're now looking at the important lunar aspects that will be taking place for the month. Now the key period for the New Zealand mainland as mentioned, June 21st right through to June 23rd has strong lunar aspects and the Moon will be very strong during this time frame. We have the Moon Uranus and Moon Venus conjunctions taking place on the 19th and 20th. The Moon will be at opposition to Saturn and this will be the key factor and the main area of focus during this time frame. Now the forecast for the New Zealand region. Now I'm concerned about a significant earthquake registered at 6.2 magnitude for the areas of Christchurch or Pegasus Bay stretching up towards the Kaikoura or Cheviot regions. Now there may be a stronger earthquake registered further north perhaps up towards the Cook Strait which may be registered up towards 6.6 .6 magnitude but for the main forecast I'm concerned about a significant event to be occurring for the South Island New Zealand during this watch. Now we can look at the interesting symmetry with the planetary alignment of Earth, Mercury, Sun as well as earthquakes across the New Zealand mainland. A magnitude 6.3 earthquake struck Christchurch on February 22, 2011. This earthquake had 183 deaths associated. A magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck Dartfield, Canterbury on September 4, 2010. This was a widely felt earthquake felt all across New Zealand. A powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck Dusky Sound in the Fiordland region. This occurred on the 15th of July 2009. Now, this was the biggest earthquake since the Buller and the Hawke's Bay earthquakes of 1929 and 1931. A magnitude 6.7 earthquake struck in Gisborne on December 20, 2007. This was a powerful offshore earthquake that caused extensive damage to the Gisborne region. A 7 magnitude earthquake struck in the Wariarapa region on the 2nd of August 1942. This was a devastating earthquake, the second 7 magnitude earthquake for the year. 
The second occurred on the Earth-Mercury-Sun alignment. A magnitude 7.6 earthquake in the Hororika region on the 5th of March 1934. This was the widely felt earthquake, even felt as far as Dunedin. It is worth mentioning that back in 2015, a significant earthquake watch was issued for the New Zealand mainland for a potential major earthquake. Now since this time frame in 2015, two strong earthquakes have been registered in these zones, Zone 1 and 5. Zone 1, the magnitude 7.9 earthquake that struck in November 2016, and also the same year, a magnitude 6.2 earthquake struck just off the East Cape in Zone 5 was also registered. Now these long-range forecasts are available on the SolarWatcher.net website. And that concludes this important planetary alignment, supermoon and earthquake forecast covering the New Zealand mainland for the month of June. For more information, please visit SolarWatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers as well as website newsletters for the globe and also the New Zealand and Australian mainlands. Results and annotations of this watch will be added at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.